Welcome to the first video in the series of building a simple to-do list app in Live Could Create. Just before we get started, in this video we will be building in a preview version of Live Code. Uh, so it's extremely likely that the steps shown uh, to build the to-do list will change in future releases. We've got many planned improvements uh, coming in subsequent releases. Let's get started though with an introduction to Live Code Create and the project setup for the to-do list app. So once you're logged into Live Code Create, you're inside your projects area. You can see by default, we don't have a project. So we'll go ahead and click new project. And in future releases, you will have options of templates and AI generation. But for just now in this preview version, we will get started with a blank project. Go ahead and name this what you like. I'm gonna call it to-do list. Okay, this is gonna take us into the Live Code Create tool. And before we get started with um, creating layouts and, and changing the size of our, uh, um, of our layout in the canvas area, I'm just gonna give a little tour around, uh, around the Live Code Create product. So over here on the left-hand side, um, we've got a few options. Um, at the moment, we are inside the tools palette. This can be toggled open and closed. There's also various uh, preferences for icon size and labels, which are accessible from inside the settings area, just to get it to the, the size that you kind of want it to be. Um, so if you're struggling for screen real estate, then go ahead and have a look at the settings area and you can, you can tweak this to get it exactly how you want. There's lots of widgets inside the tools palette and we're gonna look at quite a lot of these as we design the to-do list app. But for now, let's just continue the tour and we'll have a little look at our project browser. So you can see at the moment, we do only have one layout um, in our project browser. As we add more, you'll be able to navigate through the different pages, just similar to how you would use the project browser in the Live Code desktop edition. Continuing down this left, and just actually I'll just uh, mention here that again, this is all kind of toggleable, toggleable, open and closed. Um, so you can just get the kind of, always get the view that you that you need at the time when you need it. We have the collections area next. Now this is this is where you'll set your, create your collection, which is where all the data will will live um, that you'll use for your app. So this is basically your cloud, your cloud backend where all your data will sit at a table. Um, and we'll look at this a little bit later as we continue with the app. And as I mentioned earlier, we do have the settings area. So to follow and earn from the example, you can switch to show labels, you can change the icon sizes to small. So if there's any preferences that you do want to set, you can set that from in, in here. Now, over on the right hand side, we have our property inspector. Um, so I'm just going to drag on a button. And as you can see, um, the button property inspector now appears and you can go ahead and set all the various uh, properties for the button. We are making some significant improvements to the property inspector, which will, will be coming in uh, future releases. Um, but we'll, we'll, again, we'll get into this as we, as we go forward with the app. Another thing to know about the property inspector, just like with most of the uh, palettes in the IDE, they're all customizable, so you can drag this um, to various sizes and you can also show and hide it, just depending on essentially what you're doing at the time and the view that you need to have. Now going down to the bottom section here, if I um, click here to edit script, um, this bottom section will pop open and this is going to show our script editor. Script editor is again, you can drag it to various sizes. You can use this here to get it to a sort of um, semi view, full view, and you can hide it. Um, also within this bottom panel, you can get access to the message box. Additionally, you can toggle this view. So you can have script editor and message box uh, visible all at the same time. Um, and just to give you a little idea of the customizability of everything, so you can make this full screen. Um, so let's say that you were having to do some scripting, 
uh, you can hide everything like this and you can just get all sorts of customization to, to the view that you need. I'm going to keep it in single view and I'm going to open up the property inspector again. Up here we have um, our edit and run mode. Um, so you would use it and you would switch to edit mode when you are editing the application and when you want to run it to see to see the app working you would just switch into run mode. In this preview build preview and deploy won't do anything but in future builds you'll be able to preview and and deploy your app. Up here in the up here in the top left hand corner we've got a little drop down menu. From here you can um, add new layouts you can um, go back to your my project screen you can save the app so one thing just to be aware of in this current release auto save is uh, is not a thing you do have to still manually save um, your work and either you can do that either by going to, to save or going back to my projects my pro going back to my projects will will save your app and there's a couple of other options here I'll just show you the actual saving of it as you go back to my projects. You can see we get this li nice little um, notification down here, so letting us know our project has been saved. And we're now back to our projects area um, and we can see our to-do list project. So let's go ahead and get started and set up the basic project setup that we require for the to-do list app. So first of all, I'm going to make the uh, layout area here. Now you don't need to follow the exact sizes but I'm going to make it approximately uh, 1060 by 620. Now you can go into the property inspector um, and set the sizes um, but you can see just down here you get to see the sizes as you as you uh, resize your layouts. Okay, so that's pretty much what I'm looking for. Um, now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the uh, property inspector for this layout, and you can see it's called Entitled One, showing us here as well. This is going to be our My Tasks area. So you can see that's now updated to My Tasks. I'm going to add another layout and this one is going to be called add tasks. This is for the one we'll use for adding tasks to our to-do list and finally I'm going to add a third layout and this one is going to be called edit tasks. And you can see now if we go back to our project browser that we now have three um, three different layouts within here. We've got our add tasks, our edit tasks and our my tasks. And we can navigate between them all just by double clicking in the project browser. Okay, that concludes the introduction to Live Code Create and the basic project setup. Next up, we're going to be creating the user interface for the My Tasks screen. Join us in the next video for that. Thank you.